Hi, this is Joan Mayer. I am going to show you how to make a snake from cardboard tubes. To make a snake with cardboard tubes, you can use tubes from rolls of paper towels, toilet paper or wrapping paper. The tubes must be flexible enough that you can flatten them. Start by flattening one tube and place the pattern on the flattened tube. Trace the pattern onto the tube with a pencil. Each end is rounded to be able to articulate the snake. The length of your snake will depend on how many tube sections you use. If you can find the tube a little wider in diameter for the head, use it to show that the head is a little wider than the rest of the body. But that is not absolutely necessary to create your snake. To create a tail, you can use a longer tube with on one side a rounded edge like the other sections of the snake, but on the other side a pointy end. Glue the two layers of the tip of the tail together with white glue and hold in place with clothespins. Then paint the different sections from the head to the tail in colors of your choice. In nature you will find all kinds of colors for snakes, so you can take your inspiration from a real snake or you can paint it more whimsical colors. I chose to paint my snake in a rather reddish brown and I added texture using two colors, dark brown and ochre dabbed with a marine sponge. When the paint is dry, add a coat of acrylic varnish on each section to better bring out the colors of the snake. Paint the inside of the tube that forms the head in red to create the mouth. To build your snake, start with the sections that represent the head on one hand and the body in the other hand. Partially tuck the body section inside the rear of the head. With small sharp scissors, make a hole through the four layers of cardboard. Use a brass fastener and go through the four layers of cardboard. Spread the legs of the fastener on the side that will become the bottom of the snake. Continue this by adding one section at a time to the body. And to finish, attach the tail in the same way as the other sections. Always put the new piece into the last so that the same side of each section is always on top. On the red construction paper, trace and cut the snake's tongue. Then glue it in the mouth with a glue gun or white glue. You can paint the eyes on top of the head or use googly eyes. And voila, you have your finished snake that you can articulate as you wish. To access a free document with a detailed list of materials, pictures, and patterns, click on the link below the video. Hi, this is Joanne Mayer. I will show you how to make a snake out of... Out of...